Good morning, everybody. Oh! I forgot my outdoor thermometer on the tire. Let's see if I if it made it. Well, my luck couldn't couldn't go forever, but uh, the only thing that happened, it looks like, is the batteries got squished because of the pieces inside. So, I don't know, we'll check it out af after a while. That's, I was just thinking I needed to get that off the tire, too. I may have broken it. No, well, I can get it back together. We'll check it out later. I can't believe I slept in so long today, guys. I went to sleep about 9 o'clock last night, I think. Pretty close to that anyways. Maybe a little bit earlier. Um, because I screwed up. I thought a friend of mine was calling me at 8 p.m. And he meant 8 a.m. So I was waiting up, I'm like, he hasn't called yet. Then I finally went to sleep sometime. But woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I uh, put on Heartland there, watched a couple episodes, and I fell back asleep. Probably about 6.30 or something, I fell back asleep. It's 10 o'clock, guys. Oh... We got to get our day going here. So first, uh, we're going to run some errands, and then we'll go to the gym, and then we're going to do laundry, uh, and then we'll probably get some uh, stuff to make mac and cheese tonight, because it really sounds good. I, lo I love mac and cheese. It's one of my favorite, favorite meals. Um, like those chicken tenders I buy from the grocery store. And throw some mac and cheese right on top of one of them babies. I'm good to go. Oh, man. Yesterday was such a nice day. I had so much fun. I relaxed. Now, today we got to get all our stuff done. I got to make some phone calls. Put that strut. I'll put that strut up when I'm doing, while I'm doing laundry. I don't know which laundry mat to go to. I don't know. The one close to the gym, half the machines don't work, but the corner machines do. The other one, half the machines don't work, but the uh, and longer than the corner machines don't. But they got the swiper thing. I don't know. Actually, I do know because, well, there are two, only two benches at that place. I'll be working on my thing anyways. We're going to one near the gym. Oh, man. Hopefully I get over this cold soon enough. Been sick for about a week. All right. Going to do laundry. Pick up a package. Okay, the uh, decision was made for me. There's a concrete crew at the laundromat across from the gym. So we have to go to the other one. I don't understand these, these laundromat owners. All the machines are broken. You know, the, well not all, but like half, literally half of them are broken. You've got uh, coin machines that don't work. How do you expect to make money if your equipment is all screwed up? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you just fix it? I don't know. That, it just, to me, it makes no sense whatsoever. But we'll go down here to this one. Use my card. Half the card swipes don't work either. It's like, what the heck, you know? Half of them, you got to use coins, but the coin meters don't work. Half of them are just flat out broken. It's just, I don't know. It's funny, guys. It really is. Oh, that was a nice shower, though. There weren't 45 people hogging the dressing rooms today, so that was good. But I don't know if we want to go to camp to make the mac and cheese or if we want to go to the park. I'm thinking maybe the park because if we make the mac and cheese at the park, I could go into the, the restroom and use their big sink to wash the dish out. Because, you know, the cheese is going to get kind of hard, you know, hard, it's just harder to clean, you know what I mean? I don't know. To the laundromat we go. Well, we are at our fourth laundromat. This one's pretty nice. I will come back here. All the machines are nice. They all work. And there's even some parking. The first one, concrete crew was there. Second one, five out of 15 machines were working, but of course they were all taken. Third place I went, absolutely no parking. Uh, I don't understand, how, how would you have a business and no parking? It's on a main street with no parking. Uh, so found this one. This one's pretty cool and there's some food trucks like right over there. So I may walk over there, check out the food trucks. But we still have to do our strut, so, I don't know, maybe we'll go walk the food trucks real quick, just see what's there, come back, put these in the dryer, and then go do the strut. Sounds like a plan. Alright, we got frickin' Faco, fried chicken and tacos. Jumbo nuggets of crispy fried chicken, hand bettered. Hmm, what else we got here? We got a la carte tacos. Fried salad and tacos. Hmm. Burgers and dogs. And what else we got over here? We have a sushi restaurant. Ooh, Crab Rangoon. Hmm. And I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all of them. Oh, that's interesting though. A couple little food trucks, four of them. A little waiting area. Oh, there's something in there too. Oh, it's a beer. So there's a bar and some food trucks. Oh, that one's all made out of old double-decker bus. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's looking cool, though, isn't it? How would you like to make that into a rig? That would be sweet. Uh, upstairs, that'd be cool as hell. Heck. All right, let's go back to the laundromat. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one put in. I forgot I was going to do the propane detector too today, but um, I don't think we're going to have time now. It's taken so long to get to the laundromat. Okay, so we want to put this. This one here. And that one will go there. Okay, that's what we want to do. Get a screw here. This is going to be so much nicer. Having both these on, just when I put a long, lay the laundry alone, it's going to be so much nicer. 
Oh, put that right there, get opposite of the other one. Screw that in. Tighten it too far until I get the other screw in. Okay, those two screws. I really should have moved the ottoman over here. I could have sat on it. That would have been a lot easier. Trying to lay on the bed. That's odd. This one is literally a little bit longer than the other one. Keep it open the same, but yeah, it's actually a little longer. That's kind of funny. I mean, they're the exact same. Well, they came from the same place. Kind of funny. Oops. Sure, we got enough room for the pillar. One there, and one here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the screw pulled out. How the heck did that happen? Oh, it's hot in here. Okay, there we go, guys. That's all you got to do is break the spring. Obviously, you don't want to go that way, though. All right. Both cabinets are now self-holding open. That will be a nice improvement. Oh, there's a car wash next door. We might go over there and uh, wash the van afterwards. Solar panels are pretty dirty. Van's really dirty. They've got coin-operated vacuums, so. though. But I wouldn't have to drive all the way to the other side of town for the free vacuums. So I think that'd make up for it. Let's go. Yes, this is a much nicer laundry mat. I'll tell you that. Clean. Nice little area. 
this is where I'm going to do laundry from now on. Not cheap, seven bucks for this machine. Oh, you go. Two dryers. I always use two dryers. Cuts the dry time so much. So the heavier things in there, and then all the rest of the clothes in the top. Except that sock, you want to go down there? Let's go with 24 minutes. All right, let's try again. So another 24 minutes. Um, on the lower machine, I don't want to do that on that machine. Lower machine. And, uh, Okay, we got 24 minutes. What are we gonna do? 24 minutes. Oh. This was a much nicer laundromat than any of the other ones I've used. I'm definitely going to be using this one in the future. And it's kind of close to where I like to camp. Okay, this is going to be the game changer. Putting laundry away with cabinets that stay open. I get it all in here, that is. One more pile. Okay. Oop. Oop. All right, so how do we want to move this stuff around? Problem is I got a lot of the exact same shirts, like same color. It kind of makes it look weird sometimes, like, how many days are you going to wear that shirt? I mean, like, there's two red ones right there. Okay, and then we got orange, blue, those, there, under your undies. Go up there, socks, 
over here. Jeans. A couple pairs of them. I'm going to leave one out. These, they go up there. Oops. Well, kind of stays open by itself as you don't hit it. Hiking shirts go up over here. T-shirts, where I got some T-shirts in here, don't I? Oh, yep, here we are. There they go. I have to get down to put those away. I'm going to keep those socks out for later. Uh, our pants go there. Sweatshirt, I do not believe I'm going to need, but I do not know how chilly it's going to get tonight. I don't think it's supposed to get very chilly. Uh, the t-shirts go up over there. We'll keep the sweatshirt out just in case. Might as well get out stuff for tomorrow, right? A pair of drawers. A pair of socks. What shirt do we want to wear tomorrow? I got two red ones. Let's wear a red one tomorrow. I think I wore the other... Yeah, we'll wear that tomorrow. Okay, we'll put that somewhere to, just right now. We're going to put sweatshirt over there for right now. Get the coat, and we'll just throw that right there for right now. Because we've got to make the bed, right? That's one of the hardest things to do in this van, really, is make the bed. All right. Everything off the bed. I really should be sitting on the ottoman instead of letting you guys use it for the camera. But this new pillow is so slippery. I can't even keep the uh, pillowcase on it at night. Just fall, it slides right off. I don't know why it's so slippery. This other pillow is nasty. I, I fell asleep in uh, Arizona, and it was so hot, and it just never cooled down. I sweat poured off me all night onto this pillow. I really need to get rid of it and get a new one. I mean, I got that one. I really don't like it either. I like this pillow, though, and I, I was going to get two of these and throw this one away, but... The Walmart I went to didn't have those, that pillow again. So I couldn't get it. All right, now we put the, the blanket on top of everything. I've just been sleeping on top of this blanket, basically. Um, and using my sleeping bag. If it get, if later on, I'll probably switch over to going underneath of here, but right now i'm just doing that and i like it i like my my quilt that's what my sleeping bag is actually called is a quilt because it doesn't have a zipper or a back saves weight my 10 degree bag is only like 20 ounces where a sleeping bag that's 10 degrees probably be 30 or so, never know. Okay, put stuff back up here. Right, my coat, in case I don't, and I'm not gonna need that, I'll shove that up front. What else did I pull out? My sweatshirt, I'll put that right here. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the coat in the front seat, cause we ain't gonna need that. Okay, I got that. Uh, my towel, I'll put that up front. Okay. Laundry is done, put away. Uh, we'll see what time it is. Somebody's washing their truck over there. I don't know if I'm gonna wash the van. I wanna wash the van, I really do, because it's really nasty on the outside. Then maybe vacuum it out. All right, I gotta go put the laundry cart away.
Uh, I'm not going to vacuum it here. One thing to remember when you go to wash your van. Don't forget to shut the passenger window. I uh, you know, I hit the solar panels first and then uh I noticed there was soap dripping off the ceiling. You know, and I'm like, uh oh. So I shut it. No big deal, I mean, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, it's it's already two o'clock. Forgot to make the phone calls I needed to make. And they're three hours ahead. Oops. So I'll try. I'm going to try to, I'll get up in the morning and try to call. Uh, the other thing I forgot I needed to do today, I don't have to do it today, but um, I got to do it before my next day off. And that's, you know, it'll be too late getting out of work to go to where I need to go today, which is a feed store. We need more pelletized horse bedding for our toilet. So I'm going to run there and get more pelletized. Man, right there is a great spot right now, too, to, to cook that mac and cheese. Right near the bathroom where I can go wash that pot out and not have to worry about it. Uh, we're going to grab the stuff while we're over there. Uh, should there, uh, Yeah, I think there is a store pretty close to there, I believe. Grocery store. So we're going to head to the feed store, and then we'll head to the grocery store, and we'll try to get to this park. So part of the chores are done. Like I said, we're not going to get to that propane alarm today. It's future problem. So... All right, let's find us some pelletized horse bedding. Okay, that was quite the uh, experience. So you got to go inside the store, find a tag. Then you take the tag to the register, you pay for it. Then you go get in your car and drive into little like little loading area to pick it up. Of course, then I go back in the parking lot to fill up my bin. Found out I have to be out of pellets to fit a 40 pound bag. Um, I thought at first I was using a five gallon bucket and a two gallon bucket maybe. I probably could have put a little more in the tote that I use now instead of the five-gallon bucket, but my backpack sits in there, so on top of it, and it's pretty it's tight right there, so I need the room, so we uh, threw away a couple pounds. Oh, well, eight bucks for like two months bathroom breaks. That's not bad. All right, let's go find a grocery store now. Oh, I think there was one right over there. Oh, well. We'll go find a grocery store. We'll get our cheeses that we need. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make this light. There's a cop right there. Oh, yes, I'm good. Um, yeah, oh, th no, there's one right here. I've never been to this one. I'm going to this one. And the Safeway has cheese on sale right now for like a buck a bag. Buck 29 a bag. That's Mac Daddy Price right there. Ugh. Man, it drives me nuts. I forgot to make my phone calls I needed today. Got to get that cert cer certification going. Um, but when I get that, I think it's 180 hours of training. Okay, so where is this grocery store here? I don't know. You pull in and you're behind all the buildings. I don't know where your grocery store is. Hmm. Maybe it would have been better to go to the other one. Found the Whole Foods. I don't want the Whole Foods. Hey, there's the Safeway. Oh, 
oh, and they got the complete things in the aisles. So you can't pull through an aisle. Oh, we're going to go over here a couple. And then we're going to go into Safeway. Can I get, I just, I like to pull through. Um, with this van having no windows, well, I, I keep the ones in the back covered. Oh, come on. I think the last five spots are pull-throughs. I've been keeping the ones in the back covered. I really should uncover those when I'm running around town doing errands because it's so much easier to be able to see what you're doing. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to run into the Safeway, and we're going to get some cheese. I already have pasta, milk, cream. I'm using real cream. Um, butter, salt, pepper. I don't know what else I'd want to put in there. I The bacon idea sounds good to put that in there, but you know what? I just want regular home-style mac and cheese. All right, into the store. Hey, everybody. Today I made homemade macaroni and cheese. But the video turned out to be so long, I decided I'm going to cut this clip out and I'm going to put it in tomorrow's video because it would have been an hour long video. That's way too long. So if I reference on both sides of this macaroni and cheese, just know it's coming tomorrow. Well, we're back at camp. Busy day. Glad I remembered the uh, pellets. I mean, it would have been, I probably would have made it till the next day off, but glad I remembered them. Um, actually, if I'd waited till the next day off, I could have fit the whole bag. But the mac and cheese is excellent. Probably should have put even more cream in and get it, made it a little creamier. That's all right, though. Gooey, sticky cheese is fine with me for mac and cheese. Oh, man. You know, you wonder how some people get out of bed in the morning. I stopped at the grocery store on the way home, and uh, this woman is talking on the phone, and she's trying to cross the, you know, the, the road. Literally, she's talking, and she's like, takes one step, and it's, <laughs> lady, walk across the road or get off the phone, one of the two. I really don't know how people get up in the morning. I really don't. It's funny. Same thing, there's another set right there, just standing right in front of the door with their cart. Go through the door. Go through the door. <laughs> I don't know. I just really don't know how people get up in the morning. But the wind's picked up, and it's cooling off pretty quick. I put the uh, base layer on. It was kind of chilly at the park while I was cooking. You know, the wind, it's not real strong, but it's, it's definitely going to cool down tonight. Bad news. Our outdoor thermometer died. It, it is reading 119 degrees. And it's searching for it. So, I flipped it over. Excuse me. And you can see where a rock on the other side had made a pretty pointy dent. So, that's probably where the circuit board and stuff is. And it probably cracked it. So we'll have to get a different one. Uh, we get paid on Thursday. I think I get paid on Thursday. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm getting real, 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 real low. Like if there's a screw up my paycheck, I'm a, I'm eating ramen for two weeks. Half portions. But we got our chores done and accept contacting the information, get, getting the information I need for my certification, which pisses me off. Uh, I'm going to try to get up a little early and call tomorrow. My friend's supposed to call me here shortly. What do I got on me? I got, I got to put some lotion on, man. My skin is dry as heck. Every time I 
take a long shower at the gym. It just dries out like no tomorrow. But it is what it is. That's been a beautiful day, though. Too bad I spent the whole day just driving around running errands. And man, the first Safeway I went to, there must have been... I mean, the line for the self-checkout went all the way past all the registers and all the way into the end department. I got up there and I'm like, there's no way I'm standing behind 80 people in line. Check out two things of cheese. So I went to another Safeway. And you know these app things you have to use? I hate those things. They never work. It's, you know, if you got a, a price listed, just give it. You know what I mean? It's digital coupon. Must be clipped. You scan it. It won't clip. It shows, you know, it just drives you nuts. But, oh well. You know, sooner or later, there's going to be nobody working at a grocery store. It's, you know, it's going to be robots. You know, you're going to have to stock the shelves, you know, and heck, you're almost there now. But so tomorrow it's back to work. I don't know what I, I don't think I have to do anything after work tomorrow. I think we're good. Okay. Well. I'm going to get ready for my friend to call, do some work on the, the videos while I'm waiting. And uh, then, I'm, like I said, I'm going to turn in early tonight, try to get some sleep, and hopefully not wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. But as thank you for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, that helps the channel. And you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Jelly Bean Outdoors.